Hello, it's Mr. Muller for Lesson 5-1, Identifying Linear Functions. So we're going to kind of split this up into two different uh, lessons here. Um, one's part is going to be identifying the linear function, and one's going to be organizing it. So kind of a hard chapter, or hard lesson to start off Chapter 5 with. kind of warned you all before, Chapter 5 would not be an easy lesson. But let's try to split this up so we can understand it a little better. So the first part of the homework... Um, is literally all going to be yes or no questions, and it's just going to ask us, uh, is it a linear function? So first of all, we have to remember what a function was from last time, and then we have to see if it's linear. So is it going to be a straight line? And there's a couple different ways to tell. So the first way to tell is with that graph, is it a straight line? Is it linear? So you're just going to be writing yes or no. Um, the other way to tell is if it's written in this form. So where y equals m times x plus b. And we'll talk about what those are here in a second. Um, so here's those three, here's three different kinds of uh, graphs, and we have to say if it is linear or not. So this one right here is a straight line going from left to right. Yes, it would be a linear function. This one has some squiggles lines, so it's not lin it is not linear. This one is a straight line, but is not a function, because remember, a function can only have one of the same x's and this one all the x's are going to be at negative two so this one still yes it's a straight line but it's not a function so it needs to be both in order to be a linear function okay then like we talked about before with linear functions um, we can identify if it's linear by looking at the ordered pairs and a constant change in x uh, corresponds to a constant change in y so something like this x is changing by one every time y is changing by minus 3 every time, so I know it's going to be a linear function. So we wouldn't have to graph a problem like this if we can see a change from all the x's and all the y's. We know it's linear. Uh, a problem like this, yes, the x's are changing by adding 1, but the y's are not. It's minus 3, minus 1, adding 1, adding 3, and if you were to graph it, we would get this u shape. So this one is not going to be a linear function. Remember, all the problems on this first part of the homework are just writing yes or no. Okay, um, this one, all of our x's are changing by 4, all of our y's are changing by 3, so it is going to be linear. Um, I remember when we're graphing it, there's some rules for when we're graphing it. So if we would like to graph it like this, all of our x's and all of our y's have that pattern. So 1, 2, 3, 7, 14, 21, so it is going to be linear. And there's a graph showing us, yes, it's going to be linear. Okay, here's another one, straight line, linear. Um, this one is not going to be a linear function. X's are going up by 2, but Y's are going up by different numbers every time. And then something else to remember is when we're talking about real-world things, um, some things are not always going to be whole numbers. They're going to be split up um, where they can't be negative, like time. You can't go negative 5 seconds. And some things are going to be split up with, like, people, how you cannot have half of a person. All right, so that is the first part of the homework that we are going to do um, is uh, just answering yes or no if it is a function.